Hi everyone, uh, this YouTube channel is called Unlimited View. In Unlimited View, I'm just trying to upload this video which is concerning a physical fitness for first year ETPN uh, students. And this will help a lot for the students active in the course as well as help them understand well about uh, the effect of exercise on their health and also will uh, try them to have a skill about performing exercise throughout their life. Let's start immediately. Uh, this uh, session or presentation contains uh, Unit 1, which is Introduction to Physical Fitness. And more, we will discuss about uh, the meanings and definition of terms, which is terminology related to physical fitness in Session 1. So, we'll uh, start straight with uh, defining what is physical fitness. Uh, physical fitness is the ability to meet ordinary as well as unusual demand of daily life safely and effectively without being overly fatigued. And when we just see this is poorly, that means that uh, this is more related with the ability of your body to perform your daily tasks that are daily tasks includes tasks like uh, uh, you perform basically in home from morning up to night, which includes uh, maybe making your bed early in the morning, preparing your, your breakfast, uh, eating breakfast, maybe uh, cleaning house and also uh, washing clothes, uh, cooking food, all the daily activities that we perform uh, in the home that are described as the daily activities or daily life activities and also some professional activities you may par perform out of your home maybe you teach students like me in classes or you go to mining industries you may go to drive a car for long distances or also you go to mining, or so you may fly a plane, whatever a person you are performing a different job, uh, you need some sort of physical fitness that are particularly helps you to perform your daily activity without, without being heavily tired of your daily tasks. So uh, physical is an important thing, all right? So physical fitness is ability to function effectively and efficiently, particularly. Uh, what is the sense of this one means that this enables you to perform your activity in uh, intended time, to finish it on time with a limited resource and also to accomplish it with high quality is described as uh, effective and efficient. And physical fitness is, uh, is, a, is a mandatory uh, fitness level that is required for all human beings in all levels from childhood up to uh, old age, right? And physical fitness is also an important part of normal growth and development for a child and when a people those who are performing a normal uh, daily physical exercise or so which you call it regular physical exercise it will help them minimize the um, exercise uh, deficit uh, this and provide or promote their normal growth uh, and also which helps them in uh, uh, development of a child in a good way right and normally physical fitness has two classes of components one is health-related physical fitness, and the other is skill-related physical fitness. When you say health-related physical fitness, uh, the main idea is um, the, the, the health-related uh, component of physical fitness are the level of physical fitness that are required for people at least to be healthy in your life and which in turn uh, help them in, 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 li in living in a good way and in living in a healthy way, right? And the second component of uh, health-related physical fitness is skill-related physical fitness. In skill-related physical fitness, this level of physical fitness are important for uh, sports persons, those who compete in different sports like basketball, football, athletics, whatever the type of sports they are performing, this enables them at least to have a good performance and at least to compete in a different sport levels. So, what the general understanding is when you talk about uh, physical fitness, it's all about you, your, your body's capability to perform the, the daily activity, particularly, right? And there is this, a question that comes into mind of a people, and most of the people ask that is a level of physical fitness required for a soldier, for a sport person, for an ordinary person in the same, right? The answer is definitely no, because the level of physical fitness in a people is not the same. So it brings us to the point that physical fitness is, 
Physical fitness is not a static factor and it varies from individual to individual in a same person even from time to time depending on many factors. So people in the world cannot have the same level of physical fitness. A good example is uh, a physical fitness level of an athlete uh, is not the same who is a physical fitness level of uh, a person who is working in a sanitary in a simple hospital because and a person who are in different jobs requires the level of physical fitness that are particularly uh, helps them accomplish their daily tasks whereas can uh, sabakala requires high level of physical fitness level that enables him to be competitive in a different athletic uh, disciplines right and the most important objective of physical educators is to develop physical fitness that's very defined because this is really important without any physical fitness it is uh, more or less uh, a person will be uh, useless right and let me make it just a little bit uh, clear assume a person with a mental ability a person who is really talented a person who is a doctor a person who is really uh, like uh, an engineer but if a person has really weak physical capability it limits their daily activity to accomplish so it minimizes the level of uh, productivity right um, the next important thing is about uh, physical activity and uh, this is a second term that more or less need to be defined clearly it's uh, actually physical activity is uh, all the body movement produced by musculoskeletal that results in energy expenditure right when we say a physical activity we, we are just describing all the body movement which is produced by the association of muscles and the skeleton and well where it requires more energy expenditure than resting status right and the term physical activity doesn't require or imply any specific aspect of quality or movement when we say physical activity it does mean that some specific skills are required from you or some specific quality of movement is required to be produced from people so we can say all the movements and whenever you make a, an ordinary tasks in home or professional activities in your office or in your jobs all the physical movements we classify them as a, as a physical activity and the term physical activity also includes all types of intensities domains right all the type of movements human beings produced so there is no special quality or there is no special uh, classification methods for physical activity to say it it is physical activity or not physical activity based on uh, predominant physiological effects and a physical activity that produce over a body we can divide them into two classes one is aerobic physical activity and the other is an aerobic physical activity when we say this one it's more related with the body's capability to produce an energy which is described as a body's uh, metabolic energy production right so the first one is aerobic physical activity and this aerobic physical activity means that when a person body produces an energy for a task when it uses oxygen for the production of energy which we call it aerobic um, respiration is classified as aerobic physical activity and this requires a person to breathe while performing uh, the, the particular uh, tasks second type of or class of uh, physical activity is uh, anaerobic physical activity and this anaerobic physical activity means that uh, the body's metabolic energy production uh, more focuses on uh, non-aerobic time and this is particularly that takes you only for a short period of time which is 10 to 10 seconds to two minutes maximum all right and this when a task is performed a person holds their breath like uh, a short distance sprinting over 100 meter if you see the athletes their face how they, they stay tends to finish the, the distance shows that in a person is anaerobic so all the physical activity can be classified aerobic when it uses oxygen for the production of energy and can be classified as anaerobic when it doesn't require any types of energy for the production of uh, it doesn't require 
I mean it doesn't require some sort of oxygen for the production of energy while performing the activities. Uh, another formula that relates the or that shows the physical activity here, and this formula relates physical activity and physical exercise in defining. Um, so because we say that uh, all the type of physical activity can be under uh, physical exercise, but uh, the better thing that we need to know is how does it uh, implies with the amount of energy that a person expends. So the amount of kilocalorie energy that you expend for exercise, all right, here for, 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 for exercise, all right, and plus the amount of kilocalorie energy you expend for non-exercise is equal to the total amount of energy a person expends in physical activity. Because this, include, this, this describes more when a person at rest, they will expend the amount of kilocalories for an exercise. And this means that a person totally at rest will expend uh, some amount of energy that are required for the biological activities in the body. What are the biological activities? Biological activities like breathing, like blood circulatory, like uh, respiration, like uh, digestion system, for urinary, for maintaining the body's temperature, for cellular growth, for cellular reproduction, and the like requires amount of energy. So whether a person is at rest or a person is performing an exercise, they will expend definitely uh, some uh, amount of energy. And this amount of energy is classified as an exercise. And second thing is, uh, if you start working or if you start exercising, you will need some more energy than you are at rest. And this is what you call it exercising amount of energy, where uh, largely used by musculoskeletal actions. And this uh, amount of energy, which is kilocalorie of exercise, plus with the amount of energy person at rest, which is classified the amount of energy that are spent during physical activity. So this is all about, in short, what does mean a physical activity, right? A second thing that we need to discuss is about exercise or also we call it physical exercise. And physical exercise, it describes as the planned structure and repetitive body movement done to improve or maintain one or more component of physical fitness. All right, and is the subset of physical activity. What is the idea here is, assume that you have a variety of physical activities and from those physical activities, you choose the best that works for you and which is described as selecting. After you select, what you do is you prepare some sort of physical activity objective, you, you state an objective, and then you select a plan to perform with and maybe to upgrade some quality of your physical fitness or also to maintain as it is. So the, the general idea uh, behind the physical exercise is Physical exercise has an objective with uh, some selected type of physical activity included uh, with some sort of plan and the idea is to improve or also to maintain your physical fitness, right? So the relationship is when a person has a, a variety of choices in physical activity, right? After he select and the plan and starts to train is classified a physical exercise and this physical exercise pro provides or it gives uh, some sort of physical fitness changes or an improvement. And uh, we can say that all physical exercise are physical activity, but all physical activity are not uh, physical exercise, all right? Um, normally, we, we can have more de defined about physical exercises or a definition about physical exercises. Usually, it's the goal oriented and designed in a sense that means you have some sort of core orientation and in a sense that the improvement or maintenance of one or more component of physical fitness is included. For example, if a person wants to, include, to, to improve uh, an endurance, he has to choose widely what the type of exercise to be included and he has to put a plan and he has to maintain the activity again and again over time to improve or maintain their physical fitness. Uh, some another component of physical fitness that can be easily upgraded or also that can be uh, upgrades to physical exercise are uh, body strength, flexibility, and there is a lot 
another uh, components. And the fourth term that we can define here under the class, which is a terminology of uh, introduction to physical fitness is sport. So normally, non-professional people, is what they describe uh, physical exercise, physical fitness, sport, and also physical activity are the same in their meanings, right? But now it's very wrong, as we see it before, they have defined differences uh, differences between uh, physical fitness, physical activity, and physical exercise. Still, sport is different from the other. Uh, let's define what does mean sport, okay? Uh, it is an organized competitive form of play. When, when, you say, when you say sport, it should include some sort of play, and uh, the, the sport should be organized. When we say organized, it means it is very defined that you know that the area of playing, the size, how much, uh, by, by how much, all right? And you know how many people are going to play at the same time. You know the, the procedure of playing from starting to finish. And also, you know, some defined rules and laws are applied. And this is what you call it organized. And another is the competitive aspect. And a competitive means there must be some losing or winning, winning aspect of the game. All right? So when you say sport, you have to say that it is an organized, competitive form of play. And some persons view sport simply as an organized form of play, which might put closer to physical education as we have defined it. But a sport is not a simple organized form of play. However, a close consideration will show that sport has traditionally involved in a competitive activity. So sport required some high um, competitive aspect. All right, so when you define the sport, we cannot uh, think of sport without thinking of competition. So uh, without a competition, the sport becomes simple play or also recreation. So play uh, can at time be a sport, that means when it has a competitive aspect, but in strictly speaking, a sport is never simple play. So the competitive aspect is very essential to the nature of sport.